Hello and welcome to this video. If you're new here, my name is Marta and today I will just be doing my makeup with some of my new Luxie Beauty shadows and I'm not completely sure what I want to do. Um, I do have all of my Luxie shadows in this huge 9 to 6 pan palette by Colored Rain. Um, I have some missing spots just because I've made some custom winter and Christmas palettes and I will be doing videos on that as well. It's a little bit messy here because the shade Honey Bun came a little bit shattered but I am actually getting a replacement. <laughs> but I think I want to use like... Wait, let me turn down the lighting a little bit. Just so you can see the more colors a little bit more true to their shades. I think I want to try the new purple that I have. It's called Snack. And I want to try the black. I never really play with black shadow because I think it's a little bit terrifying. But I think I want to use it and try to darken up this shade. And then this shade Hustle is so sparkly and beautiful. I will show you close up before using it, I think. Um, and then I think I might want to use this one. It's from the Ice Cream Social bundle. And it's called Screwball. It also has a purple shift to it. So I'll just, I guess, zoom you in and go ahead and do my makeup and maybe I will just, um, I think I will just speed it up a little bit because there's a lot of construction outside and I'm also starting to feel a little bit uh, sick so <laughs> maybe it's better that I don't talk that much. So let's just go ahead. So I did just use my concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade fair for my eyeshadow base and now I'm just going to pick up some of the shade Raven since it's black it's really hard to see if the brush picks it up or not <laughs> but I think it does so I'll just be using my Linda Halberg Crave Mood Crayons as like my mirror right here and let's just go straight in here looking with just black shadow I think it would be so cool to just like have a completely matte smoked out black look with like black or silver glitter on but I'm not going to do that today <laughs> uh, and I do feel like the Tarte Shape Tape concealer is maybe not the best base for eyeshadow because I've been noticing that it's like I don't know it's just a little bit too wet I guess so that even though I have packed down the shadow to like make it matte it just starts getting like creamy again so i think i mean i guess it's good for the under eyes and everything obviously here i teared up after doing my makeup because i got something in my eye and it's not looking the best but uh, i think for the eyeshadow as you can see it's like just too creamy so i think i will be starting to just use my makeup revolution concealer again but anyway, I just used my color switch for the brush. By the way, it's a type of blending brush from Morphe that I got in a set. I think it was the 504 Sculpt and something set. Now I'm just going in with the purple shade that is called Snack and using my clean brush. I have no idea how this is going to perform. It does pick up easy on the brush though. As usual, I will just be putting this shadow right on the edge of where I put the previous one. Since it's a black one, I'm just going to like, honestly just pat it quite a lot over it because I just, I just used the black to darken up this shadow. It seems to have been doing a good job at that.
I actually think that the concealer is just too wet. Just look at this. This usually never happens when I use my Makeup Revolution base, but I'm just going to roll with it. It's probably going to really be looking bad quite fast today, but who cares, right? Luckily I wear glasses, so you're probably not going to see it. Anyway, I'm taking the shade Hustle right now. I think I, like, now you can see how sparkly it is. Um, I'm just going to use this on my outer corner of the lid right here, but I will just try to tap down a little bit more of the concealer just because I do not want to, like, have creasing concealer at least, even though there's not much concealer here right now, but... part of my lid I'm going to go in with uh, this one it's the shade screwball just trying to show you the shifts but I don't think you can see that much now but hopefully you will be able to see something when I apply it to my lids Also be using the shade halo that I just used for my inner corner for my face highlight as you can see I have used it quite a lot before as well and that was for my face highlight it's just like such a glowy and beautiful blush blush highlighter <laughs> such a glowy and beautiful highlighter and it has like a peachy base but light blue almost lilac sheen to it and I really like it it's perfect for my skin tone and I think it would be very nice for most skin tones that are not like very deep honestly because it has like that transparent base I don't know if you can see it like this so so stunning so now I'll just go ahead and do my mascara and then I will do my lipstick on camera. So for my lipstick I will be using the shade that is called Immersion by Kaleidos Makeup. It's one of their lip tonics, like you can see here. And then I'm going to use a lip liner because they are a little bit sheer, the Kaleidos ones. This is the one called Keep It Spicy, I think. Where does it say? Yeah, keep it spicy. So it's just like a nude purpley shade. It won't focus, but I'll just go ahead and apply the liner and the lipstick.
This is how my finished look turned out and I do really really like it. I just think that it would be better with another base as uh, my eyeshadow base like the Makeup Revolution concealer so I will definitely be using these shades with that base instead. But it did turn out very fine and the shades blended very easily. It was a little bit scary at first with the black one but I do think it's really nice to be able to use a black to like darken up your look and I never really do that so I need to like step out of my comfort zone a little bit and start trying to experiment a little bit so I'm really excited to like be trying to do like I told you earlier like a completely black smoky look with some black or silver sparkles I do have a Makeup Geek sparkler and I think that one would look really nice. I think it's called something like Dark Matter or something. And I'm really excited to be trying out that one with this black shadow. So I'm probably going to do that. Or I also actually ordered the shade Corrupt by Makeup Geek, which is going to be coming in my mail very soon. So maybe I'll just do a complete makeup look, Makeup Geek look, <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, I have a lot of ideas that I want to put through during the next, I don't know, months here. <laughs> I'm just super super excited because I've ordered so much makeup and I just wanted to use everything. I'm so excited for everything to arrive here. It's probably going to take quite a long time but I'm trying to be patient and just enjoying the things that I already have because I do have a lot of makeup. So if you do have any wishes for what kind of looks you want me to do then please just leave a comment down below. And thank you so so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!